We are now within the sealed forest. We must not let our guard down. Professor, we'll avenge Gerald for you, no matter what. Remember, it is a bad idea to get distracted by revenge. I have readiness. Our enemies will be taking... Uh, we will take our enemies down. Well, it's not like we have any other missions this month. I suppose this is as good a way as any to spend our energy. Lindhart spending energy? We better finish this fast before the pigs start flying everywhere. Lower your voice. The enemy could be close. It is time to repay the kindness of the professor who saved my life. Professor, I know I'm the one who insisted we come here. But don't doubt for a moment that the enemy is waiting for you. Lady Edelgard, what are you saying? What other objective could they possibly have? We have no clue what kind of trap is waiting for us. Please be careful, my teacher. We can't afford to lose you. The enemy is strong, but you will prevail. You must. Look there! Demonic beasts! I suppose they aren't holding back. Hello! You're here! Welcome to the Forest of Death! <laughs> My name is Kranya. This weakling girl was just a borrowed look for me. <laughs> this is what I really look like. Now, you vermin, I'll take down every last one of you. I will prevail. Stay focused. As you wish. Sure thing. Sure thing. Oh no. Let me at him. Yep. I will get the victory. Ugh. Wow. The sun. too long, I might be forced to escape. Oh, or do you simply intend to let me go? How accommodating of you. As for me, I intend to kill you all. Me. 
Strong enough? Next brawl. Too shabby. The sun. Sure thing. Stay focused. Now's our chance. Another step forward. Strength will serve Lady Edelgard well. Yep. Ah! Oh! 
No biggie. I will get the victory. I will win! <laughs> Witness Bridget Pride. Hard work created this. No coward. Is such a small change truly an improvement? A great help. Ugh, adorable. I will prevail. I must get stronger. Always getting stronger. Could have at least tried. Not each battle a chance to grow. We must all do our part. Good to be king. Stronger than I look, yeah?
to you. Flame Spirit, protect me. You're a fool to be so brazen. You'll never avenge your father at this rate. <laughs> I'll have to kill you too, with my own hands. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. But now, it's time to die! You pushed me too far! Huh? What are you... Are you here to kill me? I am. Prepare yourself for death while you still can. Stay focused. Oh no. As you wish. <laughs> well done. I will prevail. The sun. Yep. Now I need... I will get the victory. Any experience is worth having. Any experience is worth having. Growth is a... vermin that have long infested it.
Forbidden spell of Zaharas upon our enemies! only have been magic. What happened to our professor? They were swallowed by the mystical darkness of the forbidden spell. An eternity wandering in a void of nothingness, never to return to this world. To think we almost had the sword of the creator. You're lying. Our professor is alive. I know it. That's right. Our professor is no ordinary human. It is hard to fathom that our professor would die in a place like this. It is possible that death has yet to find your friend, but there are worse things than death. Drifting through the darkness with no chance of escape, overwhelmed with hopelessness. <laughs> it must be torturous. You're already boasting a victory, but know this. If you did use such devious tricks to stop our professor, I swear that you will regret it. I cannot help but agree with her this once. Even if our professor is trapped in darkness, that is not the end of their story. I will not forgive such arrogance. If you prefer it so, you shall also be added to the ranks of the dead. charging right into an enemy's trap. Are you just a boulder that rolls down whatever hill it's on? No, even a boulder has more sense. Excuses won't help us! This darkness is terrifying! As you and I are one, I too am trapped within this void. But please consider this. This realm of darkness we are in is separate from the world from which you came. I mean that it would take a god to leave this place. In time, our hearts and minds will cease to be. Are you prepared to die? I thought as much. I also do not wish to die. And yet... Is no other choice. Do you recall your father's diary? He said you were a child who never cried nor laughed. I think I am the one to blame. I must have been asleep, but even then, I feel I was a part of you. I do not know how Rhea managed it, but she allowed me to exist inside of you. The truth is, I have always been with you. It is within you that I found my power yet again. The power of a goddess. The power of the progenitor god. My name is Sothis. By now, you must be well aware of what that means. I am the one who watches over Fodlin and the creatures dwelling there. I am Sothis. She who died and then returned. Th 
There is but one thing left to do to save us from this darkness of eternity. I must now use the power of a god. However, I lack a body of my own. And so, I must relinquish all the power that I have... to you. The time has come for you and I to join as one. And when that comes to pass, then I shall disappear. When I say disappear, I do not mean that all I am will be no more. My soul will join with yours, and you and I will never be apart. But I will no longer have the chance to speak with you. I shall miss it. So long have I been on this path with you. Through you, I got to see and hear this world. I even got to chastise you from time to time. I may not have acted like a goddess, but it was certainly fun. For all that you have done, thank you. I'm glad that it was you to whom my fate was bound. Now, we must pray. For if we share this wish, our spirits too will join as one. Your wish is to return to the forest, stop the enemy, and rescue the little ones. <laughs> no need for words. I know your heart as though it were my own. mine are now as one. Both sides of time are revealed to you, and you alone. You know I am the beginning. What shall you do? Professor, it is you, right? I knew that you would always come back to us. I'd like to ask about your appearance, but for now, let's dispose of our enemies. What did you see in the darkness of Zaharas? This should be impossible. The only being that can withstand that darkness is... Unless I dispose of you myself, I may never have the chance to send you back there. Sure thing.
get him. Should I have held back? We must all do our part. Chance to grow. do our part. Fuck it! 
How humiliating. was inevitable. I must get stronger. You fought well. I'm not... I am terrified by you, even though an emotion like fear has no place inside me. That means you must be eliminated. To think that I would lose to mere beasts. Such power dwells within? But this is not the end. Tullus will carry out our mission... somehow. It's over. Now, Professor. About your appearance. And those eyes. You remind me of someone. What happened to you? The goddess? I see. 
Well, I'm happy for you. Your weapon is called the Sword of the Creator, after all. It's no wonder she looks favorably upon you. Just as it was with Saint Saros, no doubt. And just how will you use this new power, Professor? <laughs> that is so like you to say that. Tell me, if the world, and your students included, were to divide and go to war with each other, what would you do? In that scenario, each side would represent both the world and your students. Who would you... <laughs> Professor, have you fallen asleep? Uh, this must be a side effect of your recent... changes. I can't just leave you here. I shouldn't ask Hubert to carry you, so I suppose it falls to me. Professor, you must remain still. Everything is all right. There is no need to worry. Those who are trying to harm you are far away. It would be for this moment to last forever. I wish I could hold on to this time we have stolen. That you and I could create a world without end. I have heard whispers of what happened to you. Your appearance. You have received power from the goddess. From the moment you took hold of the sword of the creator, I prayed that one day the radiant power of Sothis which bathes Fodlin in its celestial light, might reside within you. But you are so much more than the light. You are my... <sighs> Close your eyes, dear one. Sleep just a while longer. I will be watching over you, always. Always and forever. <laughs> <laughs> 